Hi guys, today I'm gonna to take you through six things that I hear from clients that are thinking about selling their home that stress them out the most. So if you're thinking about selling your house, it's time to listen up. Number one, when is the right time to sell my house? Well, we don't have a crystal ball, but one thing that we can work off of is the things that we know for sure. And housing inventory is a measurable statistic that we can use. There are 4,500 homes for sale in San Diego right now. That's about 200 less than the last time we talked on Real Talk on uh, Real Estate Right Now a couple weeks ago, and 2,000 homes less than in November. So supply and demand dictates value and less homes means that the ones for sale on the market are gonna get more money. This means it is a seller's market, and that is when you wanna sell your house. Uh, number two, what do I need to do to prep my house for sale? Probably less than you think. Um, talk to me first before you decide to do things like paint the entire house inside and out, replace your garage door with a new one, um, change out your flooring, or do a complete decor rehaul. Sometimes feeling like you need to get all this stuff done will make you procrastinate, and you know a lot of times it even makes people miss out on a great time to sell. Even just uh, a window of a couple of months can really change what you'll get for your home. Um, I can help you figure out what has to be on your must-do list, things that buyers actually care about, and things that you will um, you know, actually see the value recouped back when you sell your home. I can help you from, I can prevent you from spending money that's unnecessary. So number three, how will I coordinate my showings? I have a dog, I have a baby, I have cats, I work, I don't want weird people walking around in my house by themselves. I hear it all. <laughs> so, um, you know, of course, keep in mind that flexibility will allow for more buyers to walk through your house. The more buyers walk through your house, the more offers come in, the more offers that come in, the more you'll get for your property. So flexibility is key, but a really great agent will, you know, tailor your showings to your needs. So number four. Where do I go now? Well, the world is your oyster. Do you want to move up? Bigger house? Do you want to downsize? Do you want to cut down your commute? Check out what's available to you and see if the numbers work out to make your move right now. If it makes sense, you know, you should do it. I, I think happiness is key. And I really don't think that you should spend your life putting your happiness on hold. It's at your fingertips and it's probably easier than you're making it out to be in your head. So start today, take control of your life and get to where you want to be. Don't wait. Number five, how do I pick the right agent? <laughs> uh, local market knowledge is key. Someone who knows about both where you're selling and where you want to go is, is who you want to work with. Um, this is why being born and raised in San Diego has really helped me out a lot. Uh, I've come to know so many different areas by selling in them for so many years and also living in certain areas, um, having family live in all areas, all areas of San Diego. Uh, so making sure that you have someone that has local market knowledge is super important. Also finding an, under, an agent who understands modern marketing and how to use tech to your advantage as a seller is so important. Um, if they have a website that's basic, you know, that's a telltale sign. If they're not on social media, then they're not where the buyers are. So, you know, definitely keep an eye on that. Also, you have to like your agent. <laughs> You're gonna be working pretty closely. This is a very intimate thing, selling a house with an agent. So you are going to wanna work with someone that you can stand someone that is on your side, somebody who you can talk to. Um, you don't want to, you know, be scared to tell them your needs or be scared to tell them that you've changed your mind. Um, you want someone that you can relate to. So, you know, definitely keep that in mind. Number six, what is my home worth? Isn't that like the number one question on people's minds? So, um, you know, opposed, as opposed to what a lot of people think, this is not a question that can really be answered by plugging your address into a website and, and looking at the number. Uh, as much as I would like to say that technology has developed 
you know, so, so much towards being able to do that. This is really just such a customized answer. In most neighborhoods, the formula pumped out by these websites and computers just is usually super inaccurate. And after this video ends, if you wanna look for a link, you can actually book a 15 minute call with me. We can talk a little more specifically about your home and your situation. Or you could even book a 15 minute time where you can FaceTime me and walk me around your house so that I can help you figure out what the value of your property is and give you an accurate valuation, see if it's really time for you to sell. So thank you so much for listening to my real estate right now today. Um, as a bonus, we have a book reco today. This is something that I think is changing lives and I really think that you guys should get out there and buy it. This book is called The Brain Warrior's Way by Daniel Amen, Dr. Daniel Amen. It's, it's awesome. It's going to ignite your energy and focus. It helps you figure out how to attack illness and aging. And it transforms pain into purpose in your life. I, you know, it's about literally your brain and how to transform your brain and heal it so that you can live the life that you want to live. It's really awesome. And I think that you guys should go out there and get it. All right. Have a good one and happy Thursday.